Happy 4th of July, America. Damn it, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we're making a rum cobbler. This is a cocktail that I've never heard of, never have tried. Cannot wait to make it and drink it with y'all. We're gonna start with a little bit of sugar. Never a bad thing. Yes, Mark, I know I just said y'all. Don't worry, he just, my producer just gave me the weirdest look, y'all. A Little bit of sugar right in the glass. One teaspoon of it exactly. And then uh, we'll get a little bit of sparkling water right here. And we're gonna add a little bit less than two ounces, like maybe an ounce and an ounce and three fourths or something like that. We'll just be very careful about we'll measure out. A little bit there and then a little bit more. Perfect. And then uh, we're gonna wanna stir that up until the sugar has dissolved. Wow, that's the worst sound. Perfect. Sugar, water, created. Now that we have our sugar water mix built, we're gonna add the ice at this, at this stage. Fill it all the way. Let me get it, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, now that we got this, we wanna add in our rum. So we're gonna do two ounces of white rum. A little, <laughs> little more than two ounces, but that's okay, whatever. Now we're gonna stir again. <laughs> Try not to let your ice fall out. All right, and then we're gonna garnish with a lime slice and we're gonna garnish with an orange slice. So one of each. Cut a little slit right in there for yourself. There we go, look at that. Little garnish and orange slice on that drink right there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rum cobbler. Let's see how it is. I actually have very mixed feelings about that one. Like it's good, like you can kind of taste, like you kind of get the rum cobbler effect on it a little bit. But man, that's a strong one. I definitely put a little too much rum into this one. So be careful, because a little too much rum and you'll taste it. But wait just a sec, hold on. Still a good drink though. Happy 4th of July with the rum cobbler.